So you didn't really get along with, with uh, John Kelly, did you? Well, I mean, it's a, that's unfair to say. I had a three-minute conversation with him. I, I've never met the guy. I think I met him once. But you went, in February, you, you called for him to leave, right? More or less? Well, in February, after, see, I, I had no problem with him firing me. I was not in love with the way he fired me. I don't think you fire people like that. Uh, you know, Bob's on Wall Street. You don't want me to stay. Say, hey, let's create a glide path to get you out of here without an embarrassment. You know, I gave a lot of time and a lot of energy to the campaign, countless hours of media advocacy. I did make a mistake. It was a fireable ex offense, which I apologize for. But you don't have to fire me like that. I was totally cool with the firing. Once he blocked me from getting into the White House when three or four uh, staffers wanted my help on something, then I thought, okay, this guy's now going into the zone where he doesn't really understand civilian teamwork, if you will. And so then I said, okay, there's something wrong here, and he doesn't have the right personality to handle the president or the right personality to handle civilian culture. And let me tell you something, Joe, I'm a super flawed guy. I mean, you know, I got a whole phone book of flaws, but I'm pretty good at reading a situation and evaluating talent.